assalamu alaikum in this video we are going to solve the equations using quadratic formula before solving these equations we need to know two things the one is the standard form of quadratic equation and the other is the quadratic formula so let me write the standard form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero this is the standard form of quadratic equation when we solved it we got values of x which is minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a which is actually the quadratic formula so we need before solving or applying the quadratic formula on the given equation we need to learn these two things let's apply the quadrat uh, let's apply this formula on the given equations so here we have the first part of our exercise if you see clearly we are having minus sign with x square so to make this equation in the standard form we must have plus sign usually we have plus sign with the square term so we'll move these terms to the right hand side of the equation so it will become x square plus x square plus 7x and minus 2 we can also write it like that x square plus 7x minus 2 and that is equal to 0 now if you see we have converted the equation into standard form now we are supposed to compare this given equation to the standard or general quadratic equation and we are supposed to find out the values of a b and c so here we have the value of a is 1 value of b is 7 and value of c is minus 2 now we are supposed to apply these three values in the given quadratic formula so since x is the variable that is involved so x is equal to instead of minus this minus is the minus sign of the formula and b we'll write 7 plus minus under the root b square means 7 square minus 4 a means 1 and instead of c we'll write minus 2 divided by 2 a means 1 so we just have to now solve these terms will get minus plus minus under the root 7 square means 49 minus into minus become plus 4 2 times is 8 and this becomes 2 right 2 into 1 is 2 so now we'll solve it further so x is equal to minus 7 plus minus under the root 57 and divided by 2 so we got two answers Right, so in, and then we have to write down the solution set minus 7. You can write it separately and you can even write it in the combined manner. So this is the answer. Hope you understand the sum. Let's move further. Let's solve the other equation. Now the second part which is given to us is 5x square plus 8x plus 1 and that is equal to 0 so if you see the equation is already in the standard form let me write it down for your understanding ax square plus bx plus c that is equal to 0 so you can easily compare these two equations so here we have the value of a is 5 the value of b is 8 and the value of c is 1 so we can now insert these values in the quadratic formula let me write down quadratic formula for you since the equation is in x so we'll write x is equal to minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so we'll just have to insert the values in the given quadratic formula x is equal to minus b instead of b we'll write 8 plus minus under the root b square means 8 ka square minus 4a means 5 and instead of c we'll write 1 2a means 2 into 5 now we'll just have to solve or simplify the right hand side of the given equation it becomes minus 8 plus minus and the other root 8 square means 64 5 times 20 5 2 times is 10 so we'll solve it further so x is equal to sorry x is equal to minus 8 plus minus under the root 44 divided by 10 so if you solve it minus 8 it becomes plus minus 2 under the root 11 divided by 10 so if you see in the numerator we can take 2 as common factor 
So 2 minus 4, we are left with square root 11 divided by 10. So 2 will get cancelled by 10. 1 times 2, 2, 5 times 10. So you are left with minus 4 plus minus under the root 11 by 5. And at the end, you just have to write down the solution set. Which is equal to minus 4 plus minus under the root 11 square over 5. So this is the answer. Hope you understand the sum. Let's move it further. Let's solve the other question. Which is third part of the given exercise square root 3x square plus x and which is equal to 4 square root 3 so the very first thing is that we have to convert the equation into standard or general form for that we need to turn this equation to general form it will become plus x and we'll move this constant term to the left hand side so that we can easily compare it with the general quadratic equation here the value of a is square root 3 the value of b is 1 and the value of c is minus 4 square root 3 so we can apply it in the formula let's write down the formula for your understanding i am writing down it again and again so that you people can learn it right away so we'll just insert these three values in the given quadratic formula instead of minus uh, uh, will remain it as minus instead of b will become 1 plus minus b square means 1 cos square minus 4 a means square root 3 and c means minus 4 square root 3 divided by 2 a so we just have to simplify it minus 1 1 square means 1 minus into minus becomes plus 4 4 times is 16 and square root 3 square root 3 becomes just 3 so 16 4 times is 16 3 times is 48 and that is 2 square root 3 now we'll solve it further if I write it over here plus minus 49 divide by 2 square root 3 and instead of 49 we can easily write 7 now we'll solve it with plus 1 and plus 7 and minus 7 so we are going to have x is equal to we'll write either x is equal to minus 1 plus 7 by square root 2 square root 3 or x is equal to minus 1 minus 7 over 2 square root 3 so we'll get 6 over 2 square root 3 and here we'll get minus 8 over 2 square root 3 if we'll solve it further, we'll get 2, 3, square root 3, and here we'll get minus 4 over square root 3. You can even write it like that, k square root 3 ko s 3 ko aise bhi likha ja sakta hai. So you are left with just square root 3. So at the end, you'll just have to write down the solution set, which is minus 4 by square root 3, comma square root 3, and we have to close the bracket. So, I hope you understand the sum. Thank you so very much.